1898, Weihai Wei in the northeast of China became a leased territory of the United Kingdom. The territory covered 288 square miles and included the walled city of Port Edward. It controlled the entrance to the Gulf and thus the seaward approaches to Beijing. The War Office was responsible for the territory as it was envisaged that it would become a naval base similar to British Hong Kong. The territorial garrison consisted of 200 troops, officially the first Chinese unit with British officers. Wee Highway was also a recognised British naval base and it was here in the early 20th century that seaman John Evans was posted. John Evans came from Lytham St Anne's in Lancashire and he developed an interest in Chinese art and artefacts. John was posted to Wei Highway, he took a great interest in the history and the local people, so much so that he purchased ancient objects from them that he brought back to England many years later. One such treasure was a stunning early hand carved limestone stele or tombstone, this tombstone being one of the earliest Buddha stone carvings in northern China. This stone dates back to the northern Wei dynasty between 386 and 534 AD. Now we can be pretty confident that John did indeed load this stone carving on board ship whilst he was still in Wei Highway and sailed back to England, returning to Lytham St Anne's with the carving in his possession. But it was in 1954 upon the death of John that his wife wrote a letter to her best friend Joan. The letter stated, Teddy, John's son, will have the garden to keep him busy for a while, but he insists on putting his father's horrendous Chinese tombstone in it. I call it the devil face and I will not have it in my house. However, Teddy must have decided not to place it in the garden and instead put it into the garden shed until 1976, some 22 years later. It was in 1976 that a complete list of Teddy's belongings was drawn up as an inventory. Page 2, under the heading of Garden, it can clearly be seen that item number 4 clearly states Chinese carved gravestone. At the end of 1976, the gravestone, along with other Chinese items, was passed down to other family members. These, in turn, were passed down to other family members in 2001. This stunning ancient Chinese carving is an extremely rare and beautiful example of the earliest Buddha stone carvings of northern China and in itself a unique piece of history dating back to the late 4th to the early 6th centuries. The carving stands at 21 inches tall, 16 inches wide and 6 inches thick, weighing in at an impressive 47 kilograms. The carving represents the Buddha, flanked by robed attendants to each side. The top of the carving has two wonderfully carved Chinese dragons, whilst at the base can be seen two Voo Dogs. But the most stunning aspect of this ancient carving has to be the skull-like face of the funerary guardian. My name is James Baum, TV presenter for history, bringing history to life.